Campaign 2016, and this one is a kid's choice. As Crocker Elementary School goes, so goes the nation. Bet you haven't heard that one before. Kids at the elementary school in Fitchburg have a proven track record of picking the winner. And today was election day for the kindergarten through fourth grade students there. The polls have closed, and the results are in. Today's election day for the school. Today's election day for the school. It's a voting tradition. This is the 29th year they've held a mock election at the Crocker. And this year, the top candidates were on hand, sort of. It's important to vote because um, we, get, we have to pick a new president. I think everybody should vote. Kids turn out by homeroom. What's your name? Mayla. They check in at their polling place, just like their parents will do, and make the presidential choice between Clinton and Trump, and even weigh in on their own ballot question. Should daylight savings time be eliminated? We are having the children experience firsthand the voting process. Teacher Debbie Jeffries has organized the mock election since it began. She calls it Project Peace, political education at Crocker Elementary. I hope the kids realize that they have a say and they should be interested in, in letting their voice be heard and that every vote counts. We're learning that if you vote, you get to make the world help the world be a better place. I'd like to announce the results from today's election. And after the polls close, everyone holds their breath. We have Hillary Clinton with 412 votes. Yes. Donald Trump, 148 votes. Hmm. And for the students, their ballot question about eliminating daylight savings time, the no's won.